Hi there, my name is Dan, and together, me and you, creative type person, are gonna learn to code a website together. Now there's loads of free stuff here on my channel, uh, but if you want more, check out my website, bringyourownlaptop.com. Hello lovely people, in this tutorial we're gonna look at our cheat sheet, okay? so. This thing here is the video version. There's gonna be a PDF. There'll be a link on the screen just here of the downloadable printable PDF. So watch it, print off the PDF and stick it next to your desk and become more awesome in Dreamweaver. So first one we're gonna look at is something called Quick Edit. I love Quick Edit. It's new for 2017 Dreamweaver. So if you're using an earlier version, it's not gonna work. Now Quick Edit is a way of editing the CSS really quickly. And in this case, I have got this button and it's far too close to this P tag. It's been annoying me this whole tutorial series. Okay, so I wanna push that down. So there's a P tag here. So let's jump into Dreamweaver. And Dreamweaver, here's my header. There's my, actually, where is it? It's the header, there's my main content. And there's the P tag, the offending P tag. And there's the button underneath. So there's the let's talk button, there's the P tag. And it's got a, a class called heading body. So if I right click it, I can go to quick edit or I can use command E, the shortcut, even shorter shortcut. Okay, the cool thing about it is, can you see? It's like a little wormhole, kind of goes through and finds my style.css. Um, it knows it's at line 75 and this is my heading body copy. Great, it's kind of found it. Okay, and I'm gonna put in padding bottom and we're gonna put in 20 pixels. Okay, I'm gonna close that little wormhole up and let's check in the browser. Hey, phew, some distance between the two. Okay, so why it's good, it's just different from going into styles and trying to figure out which style it is. Okay, there he is there, but if it's a long CSS, go by Facebook. Um, yeah, it can be super helpful, quick edit. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is something called Emmet. Um, if you've done the videos, tutorials, we've done it a little bit. Okay, so just recap, say I wanna add a div tag, I, and I wanna add a class to this div tag. So I want a div tag and I wanna add a class called column. Okay, or a class called awesome. Okay, and I want there to be how many of them? I would like there to be six of them, please. Okay, and if I hit, don't put return, hit tab. Look at that, I've got classes, six of them, with the class name of awesome. Okay, so let's say we need something else. Let's say we need uh, an unordered, unordered list with a bunch of list items. So we go L UL and we'll go LI and we'll say we want 20 of them because that'd take a long time. Hit tab, look at that, unordered list, okay, with 20 of them. Gets even better if I want to have, say, a class applied to them of, I don't know, uh, Dan's bullets, okay. Then go here, hit tab. Look at me with Emmet. Okay, there's a bunch of other things that Emmet can do. Okay, loads and loads and loads. Go check out Emmet, it's E-M-M-E-T. Okay, and there's a bunch of, there's a website and all sorts of stuff and you can go through and figure out what it is. Qu couple of other quick ones is IMG tab. Okay, which gives you image and a source and it's alt tag, great. Uh, another one that I know and can remember is link tab gives you the style sheet link. Okay, all with the right syntax in it, super quick. Thank you. All right, tip number three is gonna be multi-cursor. Okay, so we've added a class to this group of divs that I've got randomly in here, but let's say I need to add another class. Okay, what I can do is I, say I wanna add a class to all of them. Okay, it uh, can be tough, so I can put multiple cursors. So what I can do is hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac, okay, and I can drag across all three of these. And look, I've got loads of cursors. I can put another class, and this might be my, um, I can't remember any classes. I've got a bold class. Okay, so if it, you can just have the cursors going. Now, we've done that in our tutorial series, great. But let's say we wanna do it in kind of random places. That's great when they're all, because you can alt drag across. But let's say I need one there, but also I need to add it here as well. Okay, alt doesn't work. Okay, you need to alt drag it. So what you can do is start here, hold down command, and I wanna put one in there. And I wanna put one there. So I'm adding classes in all these places. Can you see my cursors? One there, one there, one there, all flashing. I can say, um, other class. I don't know what this class is called, but. Awesome. Okay, so multi-cursors, but even better when they're not just in one place, you can have them all over the shop. All right, that is the multi-cursor awesome cheat sheet shortcut. 
Okay, so this could be my favorite. This is number four. This is something called apply source formatting, and it just cleans up your code. It does nothing to it, just kind of aligns it and tabs it out and makes it look pretty. So I was working with this. I downloaded it from slicknav.css. It's awesome, but I am very visual, so I need everything to kind of like line up and tab out. And you can see there's a class there, and my natural instinct is to kind of just move it down and make sure he's away from that and I'm not sure why but I feel like this needs to be down there and the curly braces and okay so what I'll do is I'm going to go over here and there's one called source uh, format source code click on that one and go apply source formatting you can do it to a selection but I'm going to do it to the whole thing and watch this transform into ah oh, look at that so pretty okay I do this um with all of my stuff, okay, I'm picking on this uh, CSS here because it's not mine, but my stuff ends up looking just as bad. Well, not bad, but you know, mine ends up looking a lot worse. And it just tidies everything up, make it look nice, um, just so I can visually see everything nicely. Okay, and um, if you're in an early version, so that works in, there's an option over here in 2017. If you've got Dreamy the in earlier versions, um, there is it in there, it's in under, um, it's under edit, it's under code, and there's one in here that says apply source formatting. Okay, awesome. Okay, so awesome. That is apply source formatting, and that's number four. Number five in this lovely list of cheat sheets is something called code folding. Okay, see these little um, arrows here? Okay, it means that I can fold up all of my body and all of my head. Okay, and why it's useful is just tidy settings up. Okay, this is not a particularly um, stressful looking at a bit of HTML. I've got lots of returns in, separate things out. I want to fold up the heading and my main. Okay, it just keeps everything together. I find it probably the most useful is say that I've got a chunk that I need to delete. Instead of trying to, especially when it's off page, okay, I hate that when it's a really long tag and it starts here and ends like somewhere like way off screen. Let's fake it here. Okay, it's way down there. Okay, so main, and I want to try and select it. And I, I want to try and figure out where the end is and I'm trying to find it, okay? So what you can do is just twirl this up and then what I do is grab all of that and then delete it. And it's a nice way of kind of like, you know, grabbing all of that stuff. Okay, so when it's twirled up, it's not gone. Twirl back out. Code folding, people. I love it. All right, next on our cheat sheet list is just duplicating. Okay, just a nice, really easy shortcut on in Dreamweaver. Say that I need another one of these buttons. Okay, this one here, portfolio, I need another one. I could select it all, copy it, put a return in, paste it out, get the tabs right. Now I find that's the biggest problem with it all, making it all look pretty. Okay, so what I can do is undoing, 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 is instead of doing all that drama, watch this, cursor flashing, command D, boom. Okay, if you're on a PC, it's control D, boom. Okay, but on a Mac, it's command D, and watch. Nice. That is duplicating whatever tag it's in, it will reach out and duplicate it. All right, and that is number six. All right, the next in the super fantabulous uh, cheat sheets for Dreamweaver is, it works good for any sort of numbers. Okay, so obviously we're gonna work better a little bit in CSS with the properties. Okay, let's say the spacing between the, okay, the line spacing between this H1 here, my H1, there's my line height. If I have my cursor flashing inside any of the digits and I hold down Command and Alt, okay, if you're on a PC, it's Control and Alt. Okay, on a Mac, it's actually Command and Option. And just use your up and down cursors, okay, so your arrow keys, and watch this, I go up, and it goes to 80, goes down, goes to 70, down, down, down. And you can see with the combination of this real-time browser thing here, okay, which is down the bottom of right, and it's a real-time browser, new in Dreamweaver 2017, it's a, it, it adjusts exactly at the exact same time. Okay, so any of these fields, anything you find, okay, font size here, go up, and go up, and go down. And that lovely people has had it adjust any of the numbers by holding down command option or control option and use your arrow keys. Okay, the next cheat sheet awesomeness in our lovely list is number seven, and it is not, it's number eight. Okay, and it is a way to wrap a tag that exists. So say you've got these tags that are sitting here, but I want them to be inside my footer. Okay, I haven't written the footer tag, and I could go and write the footer up here, and okay, put the closing and type it in down here, and okay, and that'll work. Okay, but it's a little long, so what I wanna do is grab all of these guys, so I'm gonna say you and all of you, and I'm gonna hit Command T on my Mac, or Control T on a PC, and you can see there, wrap tag. How good is this? I'm gonna wrap it. Okay, hit return. You have to hit return twice. Okay, I'm not sure why. You can see there, there's my wrapper tag. Great, so grab anything, select Command T, and it's gonna wrap it up. And that's number eight. So let's move on to number nine, and it's selecting the parent tag. 
Okay, so let's say I'm deep inside some lead. I don't have it. <laughs> this thing that I'm using as exercise files is not great. Okay, it's not particularly uh, confusing, but let's say it's a really big confusing. There's lots of um, children inside these parents. Okay, so what you can do, say I want to select the, I'm not too sure who the, uh, you know, who the uh, wrapper tag is or the parent tag is. So anywhere inside here, hold down command or control on a PC and use your square brackets. Okay, I'm going to use the left side one, okay, the open, and you can see it grabs the whole tag and go again. It grabs the parent, go again, grabs the column, go again, ruler. Uh, row you can see lovely way of grabbing where you know the parent um you know the guy around the outside and it's really great when especially when this parent kind of spans more than one page okay so you can't quite see where the ending is so you can select it okay so that is command and use open square bracket and that's the way to select the parent tag nice Number 10 is a kind of a variation on number nine. Okay, selecting the parent tags. Okay, we're gonna use this tag selector in the bottom. People ignore this thing down here and it is awesome. Okay, so if I'm inside of here and it's really helpful when you're doing compound selectors and you're not too sure what to put. Okay, so let's say I want to, I've got navigation up here, put it inside. You can see there's my A tag. Okay, and this is my tag selected on the bottom here. There's my A tag and it's inside my list item, which is inside my menu, which has got, um, sorry, my UL, which has got a, uh, an ID of menu, which is inside the header, which is inside the body. Just gives me an idea of where I'm at in the world, okay? So say I wanna click the URL, watch that. Clicks the whole URL, grab the header. Okay, it's a way of selecting and kind of using this parent, uh, using this tag selected down the bottom to kind of know where you are in the world. I love it. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so last on this amazing list of cheat sheet stuff, we're gonna look at snippets. Okay, so I'm here, I'm looking at the snippets panel. I'm in my CSS here, so we're gonna start with CSS snippets. There's lots in here. Okay, we're just gonna start with the, the big guys. Okay, so let's say I need a footer and I need it to be fixed to the bottom so it doesn't move, so it's always there at the bottom. I could go figure it out or watch this. Fix footer, double click. Look at that, it's all the coding to fix the footer to the bottom, nice. All right, another one might be you're starting a new project and you need to kind of like put some zeroing code in just to clean everything up. Okay, it's really handy to do. CSS snippets, there's a two in here. There's a HTML style reset, watch this. First thing I do, okay, that is a nice impressive style reset. Okay, everything's gonna look the same on different browsers, happy days. I'm gonna look at that one. There's another one here called Eric Meyer's one. Okay, which do I like better? I think I like Eric's one, it's nice and simple. Okay, just clears everything out, padding at zero, happy days, get started, build a website. Snippets, gets even better, watch this. If I go into HTML snippets, look in here. So let's find some HTML. Okay, and I need to add now a navbar. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, oh, I'm gonna go into something, create a navbar, there it is there. Look, got a navbar, it's added a class to it, it's added all these guys into it, the list items are all linked and ready to go, there's classes, I can duplicate them. Snippets, awesome. Okay, next little bit is let's do meta tags. I need to add them. I can never remember what they all are. Okay, I get in trouble when I don't add them. And here I go and I find them over here and it is general meta tag. Boom, that one or versus that one. Nope, or versus uh, meta tags for SEO. Okay, um, I need probably a couple of those, but yes, the name in there, the syntax, right? I don't have to go and try and remember what they are. Snippets, okay, and the last one. Okay, and this one comes with a double banger. It's the last one, the finale of the cheat sheets. Okay, and it is this lovely one here. Oh, imagine. Okay, so I've got a P tag. Okay, so it's P, and I wanna put some Lauren Ips into it. And you go to that lipsum.com, and yeah, there's the coffee cup on there, okay? And you go and copy it out, but it's got mm, junk attached to it, so you gotta clean it. But watch this, add Lauren Ipsum. Oh my goodness, Lauren Ipsum built into there. And I said this was a double banger for the finale. Okay, so Lauren Ibsen was awesome, but imagine you're doing that quite a bit. Measure if there was a shortcut you could make. Okay, you can. Okay, you can see in here, this one says Lipsum. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one and just put in Lor. Okay, and can you see underneath trigger here, I can say, I can make up anything I like. Okay, oh, mail too, another good one. Okay, so I'm just Lor. Now I'm in here, I've got my P tag and I wanna put in L-O-R and hit tab. Oh, I'm making my own edit stuff. How good is that? Okay, mail two is another one. Okay, tab it out. Who can remember how mail two goes? I guess it most of the time, and I guess it right. Okay, but a lot of the time I gotta go check, is it colon, how does it all work? 
snippets. They're in there, they work, and that, my friend, is the end of your lovely cheat sheet. Now remember, if you're just watching this course, there is, this is kind of the end of a longer course. Um, what is it, 12 videos of making your own responsive website. Okay, go check that out. Otherwise, there is a PDF you can download. The link will be on the screen again here again. And go forth, be quick, be awesome in Dreamweaver. Thank you very much. How good was that, right? If you want more, check out bringyourownlaptop.com.